to today's video on how to pedal the sewing machine and how to fill the ruler and the shuttle with thread first you have to open the slide plates as you saw done in the video you put your hand right under the sewing machine and bring out your ruler your shuttle from the uh, bobbin case compartment having done that you have to now start pedaling you don't need a needle and thread to be in that compartment so that it doesn't go and mess up things under and then cuts and all that so you take every other thing off there's a way the ma machine works the machine works with the balance wheel and the foot pedal and the foot pedal the balance wheel is this one I'm touching now you roll it forward it has to keep coming toward you it has to keep coming toward you then it will now control the foot pedal to go in a different direction you can take off your foot from the foot pedal and see that the foot pedal on its own is still moving so you allow the direction of the foot pedal to guide you so once it goes back the needle cuts so in the course of this video i'm just going to show you what happens in the various scenarios when it goes back and when it keeps coming forward so now you pass your thread you keep it on the spool pin from the spool pin you pass it through the thread guide then you pass it through the tension regulator after the tension regulator you pass it through the thread of um, thread take up make sure it gets into the thread take up uh, the tension regulator tension yeah that point the tension point when it passes through you put it through the optic the optic yes that part so every particular machine is threaded this way they might be in different positions different locations but you thread this way for all machines then you pass through the eye of your needle from the left to the right so now this is your shuttle we call it a shuttle uh, most people call it bobbin so you take it through okay when you take it through you put it through the bobbin compartment this part will still be repeated so that you can see it better but on your own it will be better for you to practice it and keep practicing it just has to fit it has a shape that fits directly with the bobbin case holder it's called a bobbin case holder this compartment so when the the needle the thread doesn't come out from the right position it keeps tangling and the stitch would not work because the sewing is a result of tension from the upper part and tension from the bobbin that's the bobbin being the shuttle so you roll the hand wheel dip it like you want to pedal the sewing machine roll it in so it will go down and drag out the thread from underneath so if you noticed i used the white thread to pass the thread through the upper part okay you can see the orange thread being dragged up it forms that loop so you now have to drag it up with your hands so as you can see in the video i use the white thread for the upper part to thread the upper part then the um, orange thread to thread the lower part the orange thread will be stitching the underneath underneath the fabric then the white thread will be stitching the top of the fabric so now you wind you follow the rules i told you about you have to make sure that the balance wheel keeps coming forward for everything called a sewing machine it must be coming forward except maybe you're working with a weaving machine you can now go backwards and you know it's working normally but once it's a sewing machine it must keep coming forward don't try to use your leg to just pedal like that you have to start up with the hand wheel the hand wheel is what makes it easier the hand wheel is small but it's mighty it helps to control your machine it helps control the movement but when you try to control with your leg, when you try to control the foot pedal with your your feet, it's going to start tangling. It's going to go back. It's going to cut. It's it's just cut and then. But when you start sewing it normally, okay, now it's it's going backwards. It's not even stitching. 
so you stop you allow your hand wheel to control you allow your hand wheel to guide you so when your hand wheel comes forward automatically you watch the leg you watch the foot pedal and you're seeing where it's going to is it coming back is it coming forward if your hand wheel is coming forward and your foot pedal is coming toward you you automatically know that the next place it will go is forward if the hand wheel keeps coming toward you so you now use your sense and go that way pedaling the sewing machine is very easy all you have to do is obey the simple rule it's a simple rule of dressmaking and you really have to obey it so that you can be able to use your machine very well so anytime you want to remove your fabric you get to use the presser bar lifter so in the previous video on the parts of the sewing machine you saw the presser bar lifter labeled and then described it helps you to raise your fabric and anytime you want to sew you must bring it down it helps you to hold on to your fabric and then stitch without bringing down the presser bar lifter it would never stitch so as you can see in the video again the hand wheel has been moved to be able to drag the thread from underneath to come up so keep coming forward it's just about practice this video is not enough to just teach you how to pedal out the machine your practice is so i want you after watching this video go and practice it by yourself on your own it's something normally in the physical class people learn within one hour or two hours and then they are done you don't need weeks to learn it keep practicing feel free to ask questions so this is this is the um stitch regulator it regulates the stitch coming forward and backwards so if i want to reinforce my stitch i drag it upwards upwards gives me a back stitch so now i want to repeat the part about reeling thread on the shuttle okay usually we call we call the one that holds the bobbin um we we'll call it the reeler okay we we'll call it the shuttle sorry then this the bobbin itself we we'll call it the bobbin itself we we'll call it the reeler so you reel thread onto it the thread is for the stitches under so now when you do it uh, you have to use a round stuff like a nail like your biro the inside of your biro just make sure you use something that is round and smooth but not um okay something that is uh, cylindrical you can still call it something round but not something that is as wide as the opening of the ruler itself so you wind forward now you already know how to pedal a sewing machine you keep it close to it you can see the bobbin winder in the machine is not functioning most times after after like uh, a few weeks in these black machines it stops functioning remember you must hold with your hand hold with your right hand if you're right-handed then control with your left control the thread with your left you can see from the video i'm holding the left the i'm holding the uh, thread with my left hand because you need it to be controlled once you take your hand off the thread loses control and starts reeling on the nail or whatever it is you're using to reel it then you can see that the hand wheel the, that the balance wheel is winding forward if it goes backward your reeler will not be wound so i'm putting it back into the shuttle so you can see can see the part where we lift to bring out the shuttle you can see the space it's just meant to fit so you take it in pass through this tiny little cut you can see the tiny little cut take it through the tiny little cut then bring it out from this big part so when you drag it it rolls like this it rolls just perfectly so like i told you the perfection of your stitches is as a result of the tension up from the tension regulator and the tension down so you now set it in here you can see that little hole there yes so that your shuttle can sit in 
well completely. You need a tiny little bit of sound when you fix it in. Okay, so now we'll re-thread our machine. So you pass through the thread guide, pass through the tension regulator. You must pass through all this, no matter the kind of machine you're using. If you're using an industrial machine, you have to pass through the thread guide first before you pass through the tension regulator. Then you pass it through the optic or from the back. Remember, for you to pass the thread through your needle, you have to pass through your, the eye of your needle from the left to the right. This is meant to be a thread guide, but then in this particular machine, it's not coming off. So you can actually sew without passing thread through it. It's only meant to guide your machine. It doesn't have any serious functions like the tension and then the optic. Once you miss the tension and the optic, you're in trouble. So you dip in with your hand wheel, that's your balance wheel, sorry, dip in and when you dip in you can bring out the orange thread from underneath. Then the white thread stays up, the orange thread stays underneath. So we're gradually coming to the end of this video. I hope you can practice on your own, ask as many questions as possible, we're here to answer you. Just keep practicing you have to practice 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 pedal try on your own make sure you allow your balance wheel to control the machine allow the balance wheel to control the machine don't be in a haste to control with your feet don't be in a haste to pedal or run it through allow the balance wheel to control it to guide your feet to guide the foot uh, foot pedal and let you know when next to press don't press before the balance wheel is You can press when you know the way the next the balance wheel is going. That's what I'm saying. Oh my baby, shall be you say you love me. You will never keep going. Keep going. So you can see I have white stitches on the top. White stitches on the top. And we have orange stitches behind. Why? Because the thread in the bobbin in the reeler is orange in color. So if I had a green thread there too, it would be green. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Oh my baby, should be you say you love me. You will